And I'm back. What I got here today is I got an old CV axle. Now these are in many vehicles. And what they allow is they allow the, the transmission to put power to the wheels. It could be what drives the front wheels and on a all wheel drive vehicle, but you get something similar like this on, on all four wheels. And this shaft turns and goes through this uh, connector that allows the wheel to articulate up and down when you hit bumps on the road and stuff like that. And yet continues to turn the wheel at the same time. Let's take a look inside. I, I've got these set aside to discard, but I, uh, I wanted to take a look inside with you uh, before I throw them away. And maybe you're like me, where you wonder what makes something tick and what it looks like inside. So let's take a look in there. We're just going to break this band. Okay, that allows the boot to move back. Uh, and we've got, uh, got another band up here. Take this one off. Okay, one band out of the way. The other one out of the way. Now, all right, there's a bunch of grease in there, nasty looking grease. All right. Okay, because we're throwing this away, we don't mind just cutting the boot off. Raise a greasy hand, any of you that thought this was going to be a mess. Okay. Get that off of there. You can see where the shaft comes through. It goes into this. The meat and potatoes of this is right in here. Your constant velocity joint. Okay. So what you've got is you've got an outer hub. Okay, that turns with your wheel. And then inside, you've got this shaft. And it's got little spokes on the end of it. Let's see if we can see that. Okay, see the spokes on the end of this shaft here? So there's a cage here around that all, and there's ball bearings in here, big ball bearings. And those ball bearings are allowed to slide up and down in each of these slots all the way around here in the hub. See that? They slide this way. When this shaft turns, those spokes move the ball and this cage to turn the outer hub. When the wheel moves up and down or side to side, you still have drive through all those positions. And that's how it works. And the key is in these, these ball bearings that are trapped between the spokes in that little cage. And there's a slot in here. See, there's an opening there, another one there, another one there, all the way around. One, one for each ball, there's a slot. And they don't move out of those slots. They just they move up and down in, in the slot like this, allowing it to articulate anyway, like that. And at the same time, allowing the wheel to be driven. So a symptom of a failing uh, CV axle Usually is noise. You'll hear a whining. And as this is spinning, you know, fast, you'll have wear in here, and you'll you'll hear a like a drone, uh, you know, or, or you can get vibration. You can feel vibration on one side of the vehicle, and you know, if uh, tire balancing and things like that are uh, eliminated from the problem, you still have the vibration. It's very often wear in these CV axles, in the CV joints themselves, and. Uh, Usually the thing to do is just replace them. They're, they're, they're not really serviceable. So the bellows allows this to remain protected in grease even under all those movements. But sometimes with wear and age and, and other things like that, you'll get a, a hole in here. You'll allow uh, dirt and water to get in and the grease will come out. And then what you'll do is you'll end up, uh, these balls will get worn prematurely and uh, rust and things like that. And uh, the only thing you can do is is change it at that point. But if you catch it early enough and you find that there's a hole in this boot and you still haven't experienced those types of uh, driving issues, you can replace the boot. You can buy a replacement boot and put them on with new bands, put some new grease in here. You know, you're good to go for a little while longer, but uh, these are becoming uh, quite inexpensive 
an assembly like this, uh, you know, aftermarket assembly like this, you know, well under $100 usually. And that's quite unbelievable considering the technology that's in it and uh, what it does for your vehicle. Now, uh, same thing on here. It's, this, this is going to be similar up in here, the same idea, because you see the shaft articulates. So we're not going to open that one up. We know pretty much what we're going to expect to see in there. Same idea. And uh, this one failed. Uh, there was a vibration. So, you know, we really can't tell here. I mean, the tolerances seem fine, but there was a vibration and uh, a replacement CV axle corrected the problem. That's what's inside of a CV axle. Uh, that's how they work. Thought you might want to take a look at that with me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you again here very soon on Everyday Projects. Bye for now. Thank you.